Welcome to Vora Players. Today we have a lot to talk about. In this video, we'll be discussing hit advantage after 2 1 bug, hit advantage after bug contact, post obby rush, and post swarm, and preventing jump outs on wake up. It's another long video, so grab a snack and a notepad, and I'll try to keep this interesting. When a bug makes contact after the obby rush, you have about 30 frames of advantage. This may not be 100% accurate, but even a delayed forward 4 will hit them before they can move. This means you can literally do any grounded normal that you want. Forward 1, 3 jails, meaning it can't be ducked. Forward 2, 2, forward 4, back 4, whatever. And this scenario is common. If I put a bug on the ground and then I do forward 1, 3 obby rush, the bug connects at the end, and now I'm significantly plus, and they have to take whatever I give them. A similar situation comes from the swarm. If you end a string with swarm and the bug connects, you're approximately plus 18. Forward 1, 3 jails again, and forward 4 or forward 2, 2 cannot be interrupted by pokes or jumps. You'll get a counter hit. So both of these situations are really good and basically identical. Keep all of this in mind as we go forward. As people become familiar with the Devora matchup, they'll learn that there's very little consequence to jumping away from her. She has a very limited ability to convert stray hits into solid damage. Now, if you look at the traditional ender of 1 forward 1 3 bug, plus 8 is the most common amount of advantage we are left at. This advantage is ideal for the corner avi trap seen in my previous videos. However, when we do this mid screen, plus 8 doesn't get us much. Forward 1 is a 15 frame high, back 3 is a 17 frame low, forward 4 is a 21 frame overhead, and Devora players will be very familiar with people simply jumping away on wake up. Here's what happens. Bug into forward 1 3, forward 1 clips them in the air, the string misses. Bug into back 3, they jump out. Bug into forward 4, they jump out. This gets pretty annoying, and here's where the 2-1 string comes into play. After an EX puddle, you can dash forward and hit 2-1 bug. The string hits high enough in the air, you are now at plus 17, and from plus 17, they cannot jump out. So I'll set the AI to jump, and even our slow forward 4 clips them before they can escape. This plus 17 advantage means we can do forward 1-3 without fear of them jumping out. Their feet cannot leave the ground. From here, we can confirm into Avi Rush or Swarm and the bug hits. Now we are super plus. Absolutely beautiful. Jesus, look at the advantage here. You're so plus, you basically get a free safe jump kick. If forward 1-3 is blocked, we can simply pause and the bug stops the opponent's pressure, which gives us a combo if it hits them and also this stops them from grabbing us. If they check you with down one, they can't do anything after it. If they mash another down one, they get hit. Though against some characters, it only works if they stand block the first string. And even a down one fast special gets blown up. You can even complete the string with swarm and stay safe from large punishes with the bug. A couple of characters with long range down twos can get the uppercut punish, but if anyone goes for a full punish, it trades with the bug and we are left at advantage. But that entirely depends on the character and the move that they punish you with. Scorpion tries to punish with 1-1, gets hit, and we get a combo from 1-2. This apparently only works on characters with less than 17 frames hit advantage on their standing jabs. I could do a whole video just on this, but I don't think I will. Anyway, from this setup, they also can't jump out of back 3. But what do we do with back 3? If we complete the back 3 4 string, we've ended our pressure. And if it's blocked, we've pushed them far out of our bug setup. And again, we've ended our pressure. So a better option could be inputting back 3 obby rush. If it's blocked, the bug makes it safe. If it hits, the bug connects, and now you're plus 30. Have fun! 
The benefits of using back 3 Avi Rush is that if they're trying to poke or down 2, the back 3 stuffs them, whereas forward 1 3 could be low profiled and poked or down 2'd. The good news is that if they down 2, they have actually missed the window to hit the crushing blow, because their down 2 makes contact with the startup animation of the kick. So forward 1 3 is really for use to stop jumpers, and of course it's wonderful to hit confirm into launcher or fatal blow while back 3 is used to stop wake up poking, or as a 50-50. Even though 2-1 bug leaves us with enough advantage to stop jump outs with back 3 or forward 1, it can be easy to screw up the timing. The following two situations could occur. You might input back 3 or forward 1 slightly too slow, which allows the opponent to jump. You might input 2-1 bug too late, resulting in only 13 frames advantage, which again allows the opponent to jump. Now the beauty of this setup is that due to the spacing and advantage, forward 1-3 will air juggle and can be hit confirmed into swarm, preserving your combo damage. Unfortunately the bug won't connect at the end, but at least we still get the damage and prevent a knockdown. From this setup, they also can't jump out of back 3, but I just commented how back 3-4 ends our pressure so back 3 Avi Rush would be better, but back 3, however, can't be hit confirmed, and if we input back 3 Avi Rush and we clip them as they jump, the Avi Rush completely whiffs. The opponent blocks the bug, and they can now down 4 to stop your approach with forward 1 or forward 2. Basically, you've lost everything. So if you're a little unsure about the timing, or you recognize that 2-1 didn't hit high enough, you can input back 3 Swarm. If they try to jump out, they get clipped and restood. Then the bug hits them and you're plus. Though due to the distance or something, it's not enough to jail into forward 1-3, so there's really nothing guaranteed other than maybe a down 4. Back 3 swarm can also be interrupted with a poke, and as mentioned before, swarm can be down 2'd by a few characters. So let's review. Avi Rush and sometimes Swarm with a bug is so plus that they both jail into forward 1 and inescapable 50-50s. 2-1 bug is plus 17 and leads to forward 1-3, back 3, back 4, and forward 4 all stopping jump outs and stays safe with the bug. Forward 1-3 and back 3 into Avi Rush end at plus 30 due to the bug and forward 1-3 Swarm and back 3 Swarm catches jumpers and restands them. So you can see how all of this comes together to form a strong mid-screen pressure game for Devora once she lands a hit. To conclude this video, here are a couple sequences using these setups. Thank you for watching, please follow me on Twitter and like and subscribe here on YouTube, I'm really trying to push my channel with all this tech work and I appreciate your support. And yes, there is more Devora content in production. Until next time. Bye.